Hello, this is Steven, and in this video I'm going to be covering the Blue Text Editor. Okay, so the text editor in Blue 2.3.1 has been updated. Uh, you'll see here that, one, we have line numbers, and we have a, a sort of highlighting of the current row that we're currently editing. Uh, for CSound Orchestra code, you see that um, we have our normal highlighting, but uh, if we start off entering the name of an opcode, we can press control space and we get a list of completions. And we also get the uh, opcode uh, manual entry showing up here. There are some little funny characters here, but uh, that's something I'm uh, sort of know about already and uh, looking to fix it later. So we can uh, read the whole manual entry for for the manual, um, and starting again, as we type, it also will uh, narrow down the options here. So now that we're at also three, there's only one option here. Um, once we press enter, it's going to fill in the rest of the manual entry, uh, sort of default signature for the opcode. Another thing to note too is uh, opcode completion, or the, sorry, the code completion doesn't only do work for opcodes, it also works for variables. So in this case, if I do uh, control space, it's going to find that I have a variable called kres, as well as some other variables. Uh, no documentation shows up for those, but once I go to the opcodes here, uh, for those that have manual entries, it'll show. So if I do a variable name, then that will show up, uh, fill in right there. Uh, if I right click, you'll see that I get the menu options uh, for uh, some, some special blue variables, um, op, the opcodes from the manual uh, categorized so that I can you know, find out, you know, table control related opcodes or signal generators and other things. Uh, from the pop-up menu, we also have this custom code and this ability to add the co to code repository. And both of those are um, related to the code repository. The add to code repository will take anything that's uh, selected. If I then right click and choose add to code repository it'll give me an option to give the code name the code snippet a name and I'll just call it test uh, video and I'm going to choose the root node here for where this code snippet will go into and I'll say OK now later on if I am in the text editor and I right click again and I go to custom I'll see that my test video code snippet is there and if I click it it'll paste in my snippet of code. And that code repository um, can be edited from the tools menu here, which shows the code repository and the code here that was, that was used. Um, yeah, for Blue Synth Builder instruments, you'll also find that um, previously there, there was a uh, separate shortcut for code completion, but now all of that has been sort of put together into the, the same control space uh, uh, shortcut. So for the object name here, I'll just call it knob one. And now if I go to my code and I'm coding something here, let's say uh, a out uh, VCO, well, I'll just use Oh, it's sort of strange. But uh, I know there's one here. So the uh, amplitude will be 0.5. The frequency will come from my knob. And let's say I, I have to start it off with this uh, less than sign and I do control space. And I see that there is an opcode called less than. But there's also a BSV knob called knob one. So if I press enter, that will enter in the uh, replacement string used for uh, Blue Smith Synth Builder. Uh, besides that, you can also temporarily zoom in and out of the code using 
the holding down the alt key and then uh, using the uh, mouse scrolling uh, or the touchpad on a Mac and this is sort of nice for um, if you're temporarily just want to zoom in on some something uh, if your eyes are getting tired um, and also the text editor settings are all editable from the uh, options for the program so if you go into editor here you can choose uh, a whole bunch of settings here and a lot of these aren't currently used at the moment but are uh, there as part of the library the, uh, the NetBeans editor library that I'm using and uh, they may be um, maybe used at a later time uh, for here the editor formatting options you can see that um, there's an option here to expand tabs to spaces so when you press a tab it'll put in you know in this case four spaces at a time instead of you know a tab character and also this this controls the amount of space a tab will use if, if there is a tab character there's also this uh, margin option and as well as the, the ability to use a uh, line wrap in any of the editors uh, this option is sort of global for uh, all languages here now uh, there are other categories uh, av available in normal NetBeans, but in this case, um, the only feature I'm using in blue is uh, the tabs and indents. Uh, for fonts and colors, you can see that this is the uh, default setting for for blue, the default colors. Uh, you can choose different, different types of um, colors to use, and these settings are sort of global here in the all languages. If you want to use a specific coloring for um, just this language you can override it here so you can choose like uh, you know uh, red as the white space which would be sort of odd for a four well white space has no character so that's uh, sort of not useful but you'll see here in white space and characters are now have a background of orange um, yeah, and so you can see there's different settings here for CSUN orchestra code, CSUN score code, JavaScript, plain text, and Python code. Well, uh, that's about it for for now. And uh, if you have any other questions uh, regarding the editor or have features to suggest, uh, feel free to contact me over the Blue Users mailing list. All right? Thank you.